have you ever been in the shower? Right? Hear me out. Of course you've been in the shower before, but have you ever been in the shower? And because there's not really anything to do in the shower, you start thinking about stuff and then all of a sudden, you come up with just genius ideas and you have no idea where it comes from, but for some reason, it always happens in the shower. Today, we're going to be looking at a subreddit called Shower Thoughts and it's all about genius thoughts inside of somebody's head that they had while they were in the shower. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another video. You guys already know what we're doing. So if that looks like something you want to watch, make sure to hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you are new and click that little bell to turn on notifications and become a part of the notification squad you better be ready to get your mind blown because this is a subreddit all about people just having genius ideas and as always we are also going to take a look at what like the most genius idea of all time was because that's of course the one that always like gets the most upvotes right you ready for this wait let me see if i can get a genius thought right now how come I don't have anything. <laughs> don't make fun of me. I'm not dumb. It's obviously because I'm not in the freaking shower, okay? It's not because I'm dumb, guys. Come on. Please. Please don't make fun of me in the comments. Anyway, let's get into this. Okay, so this first one is submitted five hours ago, and it basically says, In GTA, everyone drives with their door unlocked, despite high crime rate. Wait, what? Wait, why didn't I think about that before? That actually makes no sense. <laughs> If you've ever played GTA, basically you can just always steal a vehicle, right? Like nobody locks their doors in GTA. Nobody has like an automated lock door system when they start driving. You can always open a car door. You know what? That's actually... I've never thought about that. But then again, there is the argument that it would be kind of boring if people just had their doors locked. <laughs> it wouldn't really make for a fun game. But I do get the point of view though. That is kind of weird, isn't it? Number two. If nearly all toys are made in China, then it's pretty likely that everyone in Toy Story is Chinese. <sighs> if nearly all toys are made in China, then it's pretty likely that everyone in Toy Story is Chinese. Sorry, this happens when I blow my mind too much. It just retracts. Like, this is what happens. That's a genius thought too, dude! <laughs> How come I never think about this sort of stuff? I want to think about stuff like this, man. Huh. Well, it does make sense. Okay, what's the next one? Being in a room with strobe lights is like playing life in low FPS. Oh, wait, I've actually had this thought before. So if you guys have ever been like in a dark room and there's like a light, you know, like and people move, it looks like they're literally going like this, right? So it actually looks like you're just playing a game in really bad FPS. By the way, I have a lot of voice cracks today. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Yo, that is genius though. I'm happy that I thought about that myself. I, I'm actually proud now. I'm, I don't have any proof that I thought about it before. You're just gonna have to take my word for it, okay? You know you can trust this brain right here. I'm always thinking of stuff that, that's clever. Oh, okay. Let's just take a moment. Okay, take a moment and appreciate. Are you appreciating? Because the, the, the thing is going to come here. The fact that spiders don't travel in pecs. Oh, can you imagine? I'm so happy that doesn't happen. I'm so happy that doesn't happen. Can you imagine if spiders had the same mentality as like sheep that all follow a pack or like wolves? So if you see one spider, you would know that there's at least like 10 other spiders right behind it. That would be freaking terrifying, dude. Thank you. Thank you, PBJ831. You have opened my mind to something that I should start appreciating on the daily. And that is that spiders don't travel in packs, okay? Because holy crap, that is really bad if that was the case. Ew! 
Ew! Gosh, I'm I'm so I'm sorry I had to think about like now I have that image in my head, but I'm just happy that they don't. Let's just be happy that they don't, guys, okay? <laughs> that is creepy. In high school, everyone makes fun of music and drama kids, band geeks, for example, and yet everyone idolizes musicians and actors at the same time. Am I doing the thing again? I can't help it. It happens when my mind is blown. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> no, that is correct, though. And you know what? People also always made fun of me for playing a lot of video games. But look at me now. I have a YouTube channel, okay? You freaking take that, bullies. Ta Do you have 2.5 million subs on YouTube? I think not, bully. What's up? I'm not gonna fight you. Just gonna... I'll, oh, never mind. But it is true, though. You know what? People make fun of stuff when they are jealous of it or if they don't understand it. So if you are right now a kid that likes drama, I like drama. I had a drama class myself, which is why I have this tattoo right here. It's the two drama mask. For those of you that may are familiar with uh, with drama, these two masks right here are a big part of it. That's because I really liked it. It was my favorite subject in school. I know I'm a nerd and I'm proud of it. <laughs> But do you, man? Who cares about what people say about you in high school? That's such a short portion of your life anyway. And trust me, I'm almost 23. I never think about... I, I don't even think about the people I went to school with anymore, dude. Like, it, it just doesn't happen. Ask your parents, too. They may have, like, one or two friends from school left in their lives. But, yeah, just don't care about it. Do your thing, man, and keep doing you. That That's basically what I wanted to say. Anyway, let's see what other mind-blowing thing there is to find. Saying someone shouldn't be upset because others have it worse is like saying someone shouldn't be happy because people have it better. That's actually a really good point. You know how uh, if you're sad and somebody says to you, hey, listen, man, that thing you're sad about, don't be sad about it. There's people out there who have way bigger problems. And sometimes that's a very good and valid point. But this guy is proposing that if you are then happy, then you could also go up to a happy person and be like, hey, bro, don't be happy. Some people have it way better than you. <laughs> Oh, that is actually funny to think about. That's like the most annoying and jerk move you can make to somebody. You just see somebody having like the best day ever and you're like, hey, buddy, listen, somebody out there has it way better than you. You have no reason to be that happy. <laughs> I just snapped my microphone. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go to the top voted ones this week. I kind of want to see what the best ones were. This Whoa, 75,000 upvotes. And it's from two days ago. Fake radio stations and video games have a bigger variety of music than actual radio stations. That's actually true. That is actually true. Once again, I go back to GTA. I remember when I played GTA with my brother in our room. Like, we would actually just drive around in GTA and listen to the music in there. Like, they have a good selection of music and games, usually. What's this one? In the future, Google... Google the... <laughs> in the future, Google... I can't say Google. What the crap? In the future, Google Earth will be able to offer entire view views of the world as it was hundreds of years. Oh, whoa. Okay, let me just read that again because I feel like I can't read that sentence for the life of me. But this is actually mind-blowing to think about. In the future, right? Google Earth will be able to offer entire views of the world as it was hundreds of years ago. So basically, you know how right now you can go on Google Earth and see how the world is right now? Well, let's say thousand of years in the future, they still have Google Earth, probably. They can like go back in time and see how the world looked in 2017. That's actually a really cool feature. I wish it was alive by then. Probably not gonna be, though, but eh, that's scary to think about. I don't like that thought at all. <laughs> anyway, what's the next one? Garbage bag commercials can stop proving the bag won't rip and start showing that the string won't break. I agree with that. I usually take out the trash in this house, okay? Because I'm not gonna uh, let Tia do that. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't want to do it anyways. I, I, I wanted to sound like I had the pants on in the relationship. I don't. But I do it. And sometimes, those freaking strings always... Just Boop. And then you have to boop, take it off yourself, and it sucks, okay? Trash bag companies get on that, okay? 
Okay, I don't want to double wrap my my trash bags anymore. Have you ever like put a trash bag inside of a trash bag just so it didn't? Yep, yeah, I have to. Okay, we I understand the struggle, homie. Maybe plants are farming us, giving us oxygen until we decompose and they can eat us. Is it doing it again? That's crazy to think about and scary. Please don't eat me, plant. So this is the most upvoted one of all time. Security at every level of an airport is absolutely ridiculous until you get to the baggage claim. Then it's just like, take whatever bag you want. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. Ah, okay. Anyway, I mean, security is always good, but I do get this guy's point. It must suck to be an air conditioner repair man. You spend your entire day working in buildings with no air condition. When it's fixed and finally cool, you leave. That. That. That must suck a lot. There shouldn't be a stigma about going to the movies alone. The activity where you can't talk to someone should be the only one you can do alone. And you know what? I applaud that one. If you want to go to the movies by yourself, there's no shame in it. Because when you're at the movies with somebody you like or somebody you love or your friends, you can't freaking talk to them anyway, because that'll get you thrown out of the movies. I don't know why that made me so excited. But it did. People of the internet, if you want to go to the movies by yourself, you can do it. No one should be able to judge you for going to the movies by yourself. It makes complete sense. Okay, I'm done. When I have kids, I'll understand that they can't pause an online game. You're doing us all a favor, good sir. You're doing us all a favor. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Remember to check out my second channel where I play Minecraft with my girlfriend every single day. And also my third channel where I post stuff like Roblox. Links are down in the description below. Check them out. Subscribe to those. Subscribe to this channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. Make sure you check out yesterday's video right here. And the most recent video on the Tia channel is right here. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking this button. And if you would like to subscribe to me and my girlfriend's channel, you can click this button.